In this limiting reactant problem, all we're going to do is to identify which reactant the aluminum or the chlorine gas is the limiting reactant. The problem reads, in a reaction chamber, 3.0 moles of aluminum are mixed with 5.3 moles of chlorine gas. Remember, chlorine's a diatomic. It's a Brinkelhoff element, so you always have to have a subscript 2 whenever chlorine is by itself. Whenever chlorine is combined with other elements, you have to follow the rules for either an ionic compound or molecular compound, depending on um, if this is an ionic compound and you have to find the charges first, like aluminum has a three plus charge, chlorine has a negative one charge, and that's where the three comes from after the crisscross. Um, so going back to the problem, we're just identifying which one is the limiting reactant. Reactants are located to the left of the arrow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these numbers here in the problem and I'm just going to put them underneath the two reactants. All right, so to identify the limiting reactant, you're going to choose one of these numbers. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I always like to choose the first one for no particular reason. So this is what we're going to calculate. If you had 3.0 moles of aluminum, then you need, we're going to calculate how many moles of chlorine gas we need. We're going to start off with our given over 1, our amount of aluminum that is available. Then we're going to do a mole-to-mole -mole ratio between the two reactants. There are 2 moles of aluminum versus 3 moles of chlorine gas. And so we want to make sure our moles of aluminum cancel out diagonally, like so. And the 2 came from the coefficient in the balanced chemical equation. And the three moles of chlorine are going to go on top, and the three is the coefficient of the balanced chemical equation as well. Now we can go ahead and type this in our calculator as three times three divided by two, and we get 4.5 moles of chlorine gas. What this number tells us is this is the number of the number of moles we need if we had 3.0 moles of aluminum. We're going to now compare this needed amount to the amount that's available. There are 5.3 moles of chlorine gas available to us, and when we compare these two numbers, we're asking ourselves a question. Is there enough chlorine gas? There are 5.3 moles available, and we need 4.5 moles. Yes, we have enough, therefore chlorine gas is the excess reactant. If we have enough, it's the excess, which tells us the other reactant Aluminum must be the limiting reactant. And the limiting reactant tells us the aluminum is going to run out. We're going to run out of the three moles of aluminum before we run out of the chlorine as we are making aluminum chloride.